Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I will show you how to disassemble the Cobra 3 print head and how to potentially change the nozzle. It's not quite what you think. Let's scratch today's troubleshoot. Okay, ever since the Cobra 3 came out with the Ace Pro, there's really not that much information out there. Many of the YouTubers just do the reviews and then that's it with it. Even Anycubic is really not doing like all these troubleshooting for your Cobra 3 and just like more supports for the 3D printers. And myself has been through a little bit of trouble with the Cobra 3 mainly on the printhead or mainly the nozzle. The other day I was trying to print ASA, I loaded the filament print it and the nozzle got clogged and it's just like a huge blob on it. I think I have a clip of it so I'll put it right here. Oh my gosh, I was printing with ASA and check out what happened. Looks like it's clogged and the silicone has came off. I gotta fix this. As you saw there, there's like a huge blob for the nozzle. It got clogged or something while printing ASA. <laughs> and my nozzle is pretty messed up from that point on. Every single time I do some printing on the Cobra 3, filament kind of backs up because I think the nozzle got loosened a little bit from that blob on the ASA. And every single time I print, I get like blacked filament because it's like burnt filament. And the quality of the print got a little bit worse because it's not fully enclosed in there. There's some leaking of the nozzle and just crazy stuff like that. So I went online and searched for nozzle replacement and there's like basically nothing for the Cobra 3 nozzle replacement. Even on any cubic website, the Cobra 3 nozzle is out of stock. So I don't even know where to get the nozzle to replace it on my Cobra 3. There are replacement for the nozzle, but it comes with a heated block and the thermostat, which not many people want to do that because the heated block and the thermostat on the Cobra 3 or any 3D printer, it lasts for a really long time. So for me, I don't want to replace that whole thing. I just want to replace the nozzle. And I checked their store, the nozzle for the Cobra 3 is not in stock or anywhere. But maybe there are some other different types of nozzle that actually fits the Cobra 3. I just don't really know yet. When I read the spec on the nozzle, it does not say that it fits the Cobra 3. And you can also buy the whole print head for about $36, $37. But not many people want to do that. They or I just want to replace the nozzle, specifically just the nozzle. Not the heater block, not the whole print head, nothing. Unless it's broken mainly on a 3D printer, you just want to replace the nozzle because from the wear that's printing, from the clog that sometimes happens, just wear and tear from the nozzle. So that's just what we want to replace. Enough talking, let me show you how to disassemble the printer on the Cobra 3. Okay, so this is how you remove the cover from the Anycube Cobra 3 on the printhead. So there's two clips on the top and two clips on the bottom here. So what you want to do is, you can see here that there's a line right there, line cut over there. You want to hold it behind this line on both sides and push this thing in like this. And with the other hand, and with the other hand, you lift this thing up. So you push behind here, and then you just lift it up like this, and it comes off. So if you want to, you can unplug these two wire, or just let this thing hang. For me, I'm just going to let it hang there. So this is the inside of the Cobra 3 pin head, looks like. Up here, you have the four filament that comes down here, and then it goes into one single extrusion filament here. Then the gear or the motor is right here. Then it comes down to this heat sink, and there's a fan for cooling it, and then it comes down to the hot end and then eventually the nozzle. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna remove the silicone just for fun. And now we can see the hot end in here that is movable. Because this thing is not hold by a screw, it's hold by this little pin right here. So this pin is holding this heat block on the copper part right there so that everything is intact here. So if you want to remove this, you need to push this pin back and towards the right. So just push it back here, pull it, so that you get this thing loosened and now we can just unplug this a little bit and this is fully disassembled but if you want to take it out you need to take off the wire here for the thermostat wire and the heated wire down here which is the two wires at the bottom there and we can just pull this thing down and now it's fully removed and as you can see there, it's all nasty and stuff like that. Like I said, I tried printing with ASA and it just got clogged. It leaks from the tiny gap right there and it just make a huge blob and it's just crazy and dangerous. But I got it cleaned out pretty well. Every single time I print, it just backed up and the filament just come out there. It does not matter, PLA, TPU, whatever filament. 
So what did I do? I tried cold remove this nozzle, but it doesn't work. I think it's just for me because when the ASA filament backs up right here or leak right there, it kind of got into inside the heat block and inside the nozzle there so that so now my nozzle is kind of stuck with the heat block so how did I remove this well I did it the old method I replug in this thing heat up to around 230 C hold this heat block with like a plier and then just unscrew the nozzle not with my hand with tools of course and I did get it to come out so what did I do I clean my nozzle I clean inside the heat block as best as I can and then I tightly reinstall the nozzle and now it's pretty fine there's no leak anywhere I've been printing for a couple days now and there's no leak on this heat block so what any cubic shows you is that they want you to buy this whole thing the heater block the nozzle the thermostat and everything that you see here they sell it on their websites Unfortunately, like I said, their nozzle is like out of stock and I'm not quite sure which kind of nozzle actually fits. So if you want to you now, you just need to replace this whole thing, which not many people want because the heater block and the third stand will last for quite a while. But the nozzle is just the thing that people want to replace. Oh, and by the way, this copper tube here, the cutout right there, that's where the pin holds in this heat block. Holding this thing in place so that it does not come off. So to be installed this, you just put this whole thing back in there. Um, put this pin back in this tiny hole right here and then push it down push it down kind of onto the right side and make sure this thing is locked in there's like a cutout right here there's a small cutout right here so you will see it if you disassemble your printer and then just push this thing in like that make sure it's flush here and it's fully attached there pull it a little bit making sure that it does not come off and now you can just plug in the wires back you will not get these two messed up because the thermostat wire is smaller than the heater wire so if even if you put this thing in it will not fit so you will never get these two messed up plug in that wire plug in this wire make sure it's fully plugged in so that you don't get any errors and it's working correctly. And now we got everything back in together. Put the silicone block back in there. There we go. And now we can put the cover back in. What I do is I put these two clips at the top in first and I push it down. So just like this. And I'll push the bottom part. The two clips. This thing is fully assembled again and you are ready to print. Well, as you saw there, that's exactly how you disassemble the print head and take out the nozzle, take out the heat block, replace everything. I don't have replacement, but hopefully my explanation helps you a little bit of how to replace the whole thing, to replace the nozzle, to take it apart and to put everything back in together. I really like the design of this, but the idea of it to replace the heat block with the nozzle, for me, it is not like the best thing. Like I said, people don't want to replace the heat block, they just want to replace the nozzle. So essentially, it's really not like a quick change nozzle anymore. It's like a whole heat block change not a quick nozzle change anymore but we can still do it the old method heat up the nozzle hold the heat block and then unscrew the nozzle well that'll be it for this video everything i talk about will be linked in the description down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing <clears throat> oh and by the way i just want to say thank you thank you so much for 2000 subscribers on the youtube channel it means a lot to me and for that 2000 milestone i'll be doing a giveaway very soon